What's happening, everybody? Good morning and welcome to another episode of Morning Perspective. I'm hot off the drive back from Florida. Arrived yesterday afternoon. Um, drive was a little bit longer than what I had expected, but that's okay. Got jammed up in some traffic. Tested my own perspective uh, for man. That's uh, it's like supposed to be, I believe, a 17-hour drive. And it turned into probably a 20-something hour drive because I had some stops to make. I had some places to go uh, to see some people, which is always a good thing. You know, that's uh, that was business for business. So I had a couple stops to make. Good morning, Justin. What's happening? Judd, what's going on, brother? Uh, but today's topic is winning has nothing to do with beating someone else. Uh, I, think, I think this is... A topic that people will look at and say, hmm, that's interesting, right? Uh, we don't, we always think about competition in a completely different way than really what we should. I think we're actually taught to think of competition in a different way than what we should. Good morning, Dean, Linda, what's happening, guys? And so uh, what I've found over the years, and uh, you know, this is kind of a recent discovery for me, in fact is that, uh, you know, winning really has to do with learning something about yourself and becoming a better version of who you are, right? It, it, is, it is that path of gaining knowledge about you and who you are and what you're capable of. That is considered a victory. Uh, when you are just competing against somebody else, uh, my opinion is that competition with others is, is really the cheaper version of competition, uh, of true competition, which is the competition with yourself. Uh, what I have found is this. Many people struggle looking in the mirror. I was one of them. Uh, looking in the mirror and truly seeing what you're capable of. I am still on this journey, right, of trying to figure out what am I truly capable of? And that's why I push myself. That's why I did this show. That's why I you know, go out and do things that make me really uncomfortable because uh, as as many people like to say, Andy Frisella in 75 Hard said, go to war with yourself. And that is that is really what it is. It's, it's that struggle between what you're capable of and what you're actually doing. And, and the gap between those two is where all your work needs to be put in. And so a lot of times... We look at competition. We look at, uh, you know, in business, our competitors or other people around us in our lives. Um, and we think to ourselves, you know, I want to beat that person. Uh, but the reality is, is that's just using some motivation uh, to go to go to a place that is easy to get motivated from. It's easy to get motivated to look at somebody else. It's a lot harder to get motivated when you look at yourself in the mirror. Uh, what I've found is that people start to lose ground when they look in the mirror. They're not, not, it's not quite as easy to look at yourself in the mirror and stay motivated uh, the same way that you would be when you're when you're with a competitor when you're against a competitor. And so when you're against that competitor, you are, I want you to remind yourself that it is not about just beating the competitor. So for example, if I'm running a race uh, and I'm running a 10 mile race, it's not just about coming in first place. It's about truly clocking the best time that I am capable of clocking. And what we find is that, you know, as long as we're beating the person that is right behind us, uh, we're usually pretty satisfied, right? That's how we're trained. If you're first place, then that's good enough. But the truth is, is that first place is only really an achievement if it's the best of what you had, right? The old the old quote is, uh, you don't have to you don't have to be the if if you're getting chased by a bear, you don't have to be the fastest person in the pack. You don't have to be uh, you don't have to outrun the bear. You just have to outrun the rest of the people. Same concept, right? Uh, so it is, it is that concept of 
truly looking at yourself and creating all of your goals, all of your dreams, all of everything that you do, uh, you want to create that around your own capabilities, your own uh, motivation, your own foundation of what gets you going. That should be based on you. It should not be based on any level of competition because, again, that competition is not always going to be there. The positive part, once you learn to be motivated by the competition with yourself, is that, man, it's always there. You're always there looking yourself in the mirror. Your conscious conscience is always there telling you what you can and can't be capable of. And so as you grow, as you get better, those levels that you can reach are going to get higher and higher and higher. So truly what you're capable of, your true potential is always going to be growing. You know, what I believe I am capable of today, even two years ago, I didn't think I was capable of. And so I would encourage you guys to look at yourselves and see, you know, are you are you really giving every day everything you've got? And the answer is probably going to be no, by the way. Uh, it, it is for me. You know, I have, I have a lot of days where I can say yes to that. Uh, but the reality is the gap that I'm trying to close is the gap between what I'm capable of and what I actually produce. And so if I, if I can chain together five days, six days, seven days in a row where I'm really making significant progress, I'm really, you know, knocking the cover off the ball. But then on day eight or day six, I fall off and I don't have a good day. That's what I'm working on. I'm working on that rhythm in my life that's going to help me just continue to push forward, continue to grow, continue to find new heights. Uh, and, and again, We've talked about your circle quite a bit, but that is where that comes from partially is the support of those people around you. Uh, when you have those moments, it is the support of those people that will help you close those gaps. So, you know, um, this is this is a topic that is is one it's it's uh, it's. It is one I'm passionate about because it's one that I'm working on right now. It is not about who I'm competing with. It's about me competing with myself. And uh, that's why I signed up to do 75 hard. That's why I signed up to run a 31.25 mile race, which people think is crazy. I've had lots of people reach out to me and ask me what I'm thinking. And, uh, you know, I thought the same thing when I agreed to do it. But the difference is I am trying to find that higher gear within my own life. And, and a lot of people are uncomfortable finding that because the reality is, and here, here's what I've responded to people with when they've asked me, is what's the worst thing that's going to happen? The worst thing that's gonna happen is, for some reason, I don't finish that race. And that failure will be a huge victory in my life if that's what happens, that's not the plan. But if the worst case scenario happens, that's it. That's the only thing that could happen. And so if we don't push ourselves, we're just never going to find those new heights. If we're always just competing with others, we're never going to take those steps out into the comfort zones that we know deep down we can achieve. And so um, this is... This is a topic that I think everybody needs to take uh, and take a long, hard look in the mirror and, and figure out. So um, good Monday morning, Bruce. What's happening, guys? Steve, what's going on? Jordan, Eli, Patricia, what's going on? Trisha, saw you there. Man, thanks for spending this morning with me, guys. I'm, uh, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit off still this morning. I was up late working, trying to get caught up, getting back settled into, the, into my normal home space here. So I'm a little bit off, I'm a little bit tired, but all, all good, man. I'm, uh, I'm, this, is, this is the way to start my day, even if I'm not 100%. So Lydia, good morning. But I want you guys to really think about the title of this video and uh, what that means to you. You know, and, and if you want to drop down in the comments what it means to you, it, 
you know, again, winning has nothing to do with beating others. It truly has a ton of meaning when it comes to you versus you. Lance Phillips, what's happening, man? We got to connect at some point, Lance. Drop me a DM or I'll drop you a D DM with uh, with my phone number, man, and let's let's connect. I need to plug into that energy of yours, man. I love that guy. If you're if you guys aren't following him, he's down in Mississippi and he is crushing the game in the asphalt business. And uh, man, what a what a what a just boost of energy you get when you listen to that guy. And so, uh, if you guys haven't connected with Lance and you're in the construction business, I would highly, actually anybody for that matter, but definitely connect with that guy. But uh, I'd be interested to hear what you guys say about uh, this topic in the comments. I'd love to start a little conversation uh, about this topic. It is. Remember, you are going to struggle in life if you base everything off of beating your competition because your competition isn't always going to be there to motivate you. And so uh, when you are focused on motivating, motiv being motivated to beat yourself, you always have that motivation. You can always pull from it. Uh, it is not a cheap version of motivation. It's a hard, hard thing to stay motivated to continuously beat yourself. And, and this is, you know, to, to take it a step further, this is proof that success or things in your life, it is success is not a destination. Uh, there is no box that you get to check and say, man, I made it. Because that competition with yourself will go on until you take your last breath. That's the truth. That level of comfort that you allow into your life, uh, you know, I see it constantly. Every, every single week I see people work. They work all the way till Friday. And then they say, man, I deserve a break. And they take a break. And so those people, you know, and I'm not telling you guys to work seven days a week. I'm just telling you like, you know, that development, that constant focus on getting better in life. And that could be, you know, you're working on the weekends on becoming a better a better father, more present in your kids' lives, a better husband, uh, doing things around your house. But, you know, the reality is if you spend the weekends just chilling out on the couch, you know, watching Netflix, then don't be surprised when you don't, you don't get very far. That's just how it is. Um, it is always about the competition with yourself and uh, it's the hardest thing it's the hardest journey that you'll ever have to embark on to find out truly what's inside of you and using that fuel instead of the cheap fuel that comes from the competition of others so that's it, guys. This is a short message this morning, but I hope it was uh, effective. Something to think about. It's some Monday morning food for thought. Don't be in competition with others, guys. Focus that competition. You know what you're capable of. You Deep down, you know. You might lie to yourself, because I've done it. Uh, you might lie to yourself to get some comfort and to feel better and all those things, but... The reality is you know what you're capable of. And if you just spend a couple of minutes realizing that, writing that down, and then taking massive action towards getting closer and closer and closer to your true potential, man, you're going to be in for some special stuff. I can tell you, uh, I, am, I am not the foremost expert on the execution of this, but I am a expert on the pursuit of it that's for sure that is for sure i've been chasing it for a couple of years at least now and uh i think that you know it's really important for you to just take that first step on that journey if you haven't done it yet and and really truly think about what are you capable of and and bruce you're 100 right man journey the journey is about getting better every day that's what we're doing. It's about showing up, showing up and competing with yourself, showing up and competing with life, showing up and competing in every aspect of your life. That's how it goes. 
you know, I have uh, I have personally slipped in a couple of areas in the last few weeks. So, you know, I finished 75 hard. I, I uh, tried to start phase one, 75 hard. I had an injury. I pulled my groin and I got off track with my with my fitness. And so uh, I'm focused on getting back to that now because I see the difference. I feel the difference. I am I am losing that battle with myself and that just won't happen for me anymore. I won't, I won't allow that to happen the same way that I've allowed it to happen in the, ba- in the past because I recognize it. I can recognize it faster and I can fix it faster when I recognize it. So that's it, guys. I hope it was helpful. Uh, please share this out. Uh, tag some friends if you think they need to hear this. Uh, also, all of these videos, guys, are over on my YouTube channel. So if you guys have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, uh, go over there and click that button. um, And let's have a killer, killer week. I can tell you this. I worked worked my tail off last night, Sunday evening, getting things moving. That's always a good sign that it's going to be a killer week. So I hope you guys have a killer week too. Love you guys. Thanks for jumping on. And I'll see you again tomorrow morning at 730.